just so you know, mm. we can hear you eating, so <laughs> you might want to yeah, I figured eat enough. when you're not talking and so on. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> I can hear that. Awesome. Yeah. Can, can you hear that? There's no way to eat the popcorn without making noise. <laughs> you just have to dissolve it in your mouth. <laughs> It's kind of, so if you ask me a question, there's a really long delay. It's because I'm waiting for popcorn to dissolve. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all ready? Hey. Mm-hmm. Penny? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I just assumed you knew I was ready. <laughs> Are we all ready? Lucas says, yep. Joe says, yep. That was it. Alright. Today's Sunday, the 26th of May, 20, 2019. Fucking hell, this is going to be a difficult one to get started. <laughs> Sound like you're saying 2016 then. I was about to, I don't know. Wow. Better times, because in May 2016, really to things to were a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> May 2016, the future was actually looking up. That's true. Hello and welcome to episode 331 of Science on Top. Today is Wednesday, the 17th of April, 2020. Now, I'm going to just do it again because I've got to get the date right. That's important because if this was 2017, it is, just a massive you know, time it is, it is uh, 2019, actually. <laughs> right. Well, it's funny because we're talking about something that was recorded, in, uh, that was first started in 2017. The, uh, That's image, true. But, but anyway. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 333 of Science on Top. We are back for another... No, I said that last week. I should update my script. Hang on while I just delete that. Just talk amongst yourselves. All right, ready to go. Hello <laughs> and... <laughs> this is going to be good. I'm Ed Brown and I'm joined by Lucas Randall. Hey, Ed. And Joe Benamou. Hello. Hey, Joe. And as always... If, if, <laughs> shit. Fucking, what the... Sorry. Don't it's do right. that to me. I changed my <laughs> shtick. <laughs> and clinical research nurse who's just completed a master's in bioethics, Joe Benamou. Hi, everyone. Hi, Ed. I mean, and yes, you're, you're everyone. I am, I am everyone. This is absolutely <laughs> true. It should be segregated. I used to be, it used to be I am Groot, but now I am everyone. <laughs> There's a bacteriophage called I am Groot. There is. How awesome is, is there that? really? Yes. Yes. There's a whole oh, bunch cool. of different um, funky names like They've that. They've got cool names. Yeah. Today is Sunday, the 9th of June, 2019. I'm Ed Brown and joining me today is Penny Dumsday. Hi. Joe Benamou. That sounded really bad. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> it's just from hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I can't do it. Introduce the others. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, no, it's fine. This is going to be fun to edit, and we're not going to have a short bloopers episode at the end of the year, so it's, it's all good. No. I'm going to just, like, try and not cough <laughs> for the whole thing. Good luck. Yep. <laughs> and joining me today is Joe Benamou. Hello, everyone. And an old friend is back behind the microphone. Welcome back, Dr. Shane Joseph. G'day all. How are you all? And this show is only possible thanks to the generous support from our Patreon subscribers, people like Kirsty Saxton and Elizabeth Gordon, who have been chipping in each month, each episode, not each month. I'm going to say that again. We're running a campaign at the moment in support of two excellent charities, Doctors Without Borders and the Fred Hollows Foundation. These were the preferred charities of a dear friend of ours, Penny... Shit. No, I know. Penny shit. No, no, no. So that no, 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 no. She has no. never penny. No, I, I wrote <laughs> Penny Dumsday in my script. <laughs> <laughs> Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, that's imagine? very embarrassing. Did you put that to air? Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, let's... It's not out the, outside the realms of possibility. I once literally called Obama a sal- No, the other way around. Osama oh, that's Obama. Right, <laughs> Thanks, Osama. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't they over uh, in Iraq looking for Obama? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it was, was it Mick? Mick said, um, he did. No, I think he, <laughs> he did. <laughs> that was awesome. I remember I put that on the bloopers episode, and like yes. a few weeks later, Shane posts you know, on Facebook. Every time I'm just sick of the world and I'm absolutely furious about something, I go to this point in the bloopers episode and I listen to it. <laughs> Fuck that up. <laughs> Oh, uh, you bastard. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's get more somber again, and I'll get back to saying that all again. Until about this time last year, when one of the craters collapsed, causing the lava lake inside to drain out. And so for several months now, the Hale Fuck, I was not going to stuff this up. I wasn't going to stuff it up. I was going to say it so perfectly, and then I fucked it up. It would be like that uh, Icelandic uh, volcano <laughs> that you say oh, so well. Oh, I mean, no, AFU at the I I love Heather's rendition there. It sounded Greek there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and so for several months now, the hey, um, oh, fucking hell... <laughs> It's because I know you're waiting for it now, and I'm waiting for it. Hela Mayu Mayu. All right. And so for several months now, the Hela Mayu Mayu crater has been empty. But now let's begin with a look at Danuvius Gaganmosis. No, fuck it. I practiced it. I practiced it so many times before, and then I fuck it up when I do it. It always happens. And and did you say the website's been all modernized and black? It's very black. Yeah, that's that's the thing that makes something modern. Now everything's all about the dark theme now, isn't it? It's all, oh, yeah. all uh, so 2019. It's it's permanently in night mode. Right, yeah. <laughs> to protect Which your... everything of mine is permanently in night mode too. Oh, well, there you go. Mm. D- does our website come out in white for you then? Is it like reversed? That's a good point. Maybe like, I haven't opened it on my computer. I should have a look now. Well, let's have a look at a uh, potential energy breakthrough. And researchers in Sweden have created a molecule. A molecule. I what have they done? Like a, <laughs> I, I said it like Dr. Helen Maynard Casely says molecule. <laughs> <laughs> Wobble. Um, and researchers in Sweden have created a molecule that they say can trap energy from the sun and keep it in reserve so it can be released on demand in the form of heat, even decades after it was captured. But what's the latest intriguing theory, Lucas? I'll just put my I'll just put my phone on silent, shall I? And then we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll go back to that. I thought you were indicating my time was up already. Yep, it took too long. Yeah, wait for me to do the intro. I am going to yeah. say that last bit again, so I can. Fix okay. it up in post. Get a clean recording. Yeah. There have been loads of hypotheses. Pos- there have been <laughs> loads of hypotheses posited to explain it. Everything from swarms of comets to an alien Dyson sphere constructed to harness the star's energy. We ended up only getting like a few grains of dust from that asteroid. So now yeah. Hayabusa 2. Yeah. Go on. Sorry. To that no, go well. on. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so well. And now, and now Hayabusa 2, which we've mentioned before on the show. But it's a bit different with Bonobos, our primate coven. Co- covens. Coven. Yep, they're witches. <laughs> All them Bonobo witches, bitches. Like, shit, Ed, where am I going to go from here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is all going according to plan so far. <laughs> Was the plan to be shit? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I oh, know. It's, it's, it's harsh. Sorry. Yeah. <gasps> Penny, apparently rats love to drive and it makes them more relaxed. It was me, yeah? Lucas. Penny. Yeah, but, but originally 
Fuck. It was Penny. Sorry. No, I should have been more clear. No, you didn't. Nah, it's all right. No, I'm just a bit like. Now, yeah, crosswise, miscommunication, both of ours are at fault, mostly me, not you, it's all good. All oh, right. no, I'm so tired of stuffing things up left, right and centre. Right, so I guess the the relevant question for you then is, are mosquitoes in, in, in danger? Are we going to stop no, getting mosquito and Ross River virus and things? Uh, mosquito, malaria. Do you know, I think I might say that sentence again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stop getting mosquito. I hate mosquito. <laughs> so I guess the question for you then, Cameron, the, the relevant one then is mosquitoes, which is your area of specialty. Are they in threat? Are we going to not have to worry about malaria and Ross River and things like that now? Now, what these convolutional neural networks do is to overcome some of the challenges in, in the previous way of, um, of, uh, of learning uh, the, the patterns in, uh, in, sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble getting my words out today. Um, so, yes, you know, they, they come up with false positives. Then there's, first of all, the potential for harm from the, the, um, the oh my God, my brain. <laughs> Um, doing better than I was at the start. From, yeah, there, <laughs> there is a risk of harm from any subsequent tests that may be needed to confirm the diagnosis. Yes, so that even their most uh, optimistic uh, optimistic estima- estimates. Geez, I'm having trouble. What's happening with the words tonight, everybody? What, it's not is just it like me. a? Oh. It's getting cold. Our lips Penny, you're the only one who can talk properly right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so it's not not only is it. Um... Now that's all pretty obvious and straightforward. Do we really need to talk about it in any more detail, or should we just leave it there and move on? <coughs> <coughs> the penny die first, and then we'll get on with it. <laughs> it's all right. We can wait. It'll be worth the wait. Not the dying part. I didn't realise I was saying that. I mean the. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, astute listeners may notice I've got a bit of a cough, so Ed <laughs> might actually jump in and take over this story. Uh, okay. the, what, what they've done is, hang on a second, let me find my notes. Uh, yeah, well, so t- typically a, a – yeah, hello, are we all there? All yeah, good. I was going to interrupt, but then you started talking, so I thought, no, I'll let you talk. And then yeah, yeah, you stopped to hear what I was saying, and then I had to explain <laughs> it. <and> Awkward! <laughs> uh, as I say, the, the, the big deal here is that we haven't really had a way of figuring out the spin rate before, but now using some um, information that was uh, that basically came out of some, some, um, uh, some FRBs, from from uh, 2007, uh, 2007, these these fast radio bursts um, basically allows us to to um, hang on. Have I crossed over to the last know why we're talking week's story? Fast radio yeah, I think bursts. I did. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that was because I was did both of those stories last I week. Have so to edit that bit none out. of it ever makes sense to me. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, no, seventy million miles fast radio bursts. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. So get yep. rid of that bit. That was actually from the other the other article from last week. Why didn't I delete that? Go away. Get out of my it's face. Not, yeah, exactly. Move to trash. That's Sorry right. about that. Yeah. Yeah, because I made lots of notes in that one as well. But I ended up yeah. covering that one last that was week. Good. Just give me one sec. All right. I'm Ed Brown and I'm joined by Penny Dumsday. Hello. Lucas Randall. Hello. And composer and sound designer Peter Miller. Hi there. Good to have you back, Peter. Good, Good to be Just back. Just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> <laughs> You're, I'm getting you a little bit of dro- dro- droppy outy stuff happening in my headphones here. Yeah, look, uh, yeah, I am too, weird. Uh, I'm sounding weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, no more than usual to me. I'm going to mm. disconnect from my VPN, which is possibly part of the problem, which may mean that I'll drop out, but we'll soon find out. Okay. All good. Can you hear me? I'm holding my breath. No. Okay, everything is gone. Awesome. <laughs> See? <laughs> what, what's happening? I'm, I'm actually getting droppy outy ah. stuff on everyone, everyone, so not just Ed. Can you hear me? Yeah, Peter just disappeared. 
Hello, I'm here. Yeah. Hello, hello. hello. I, my, I'm I'm getting dropouts across the board on Penny and on Lucas, so it's sort of everywhere. Yeah. I quit my VPN for nothing. Perhaps you did. So so, yeah. I think if if people have kind of like weird silences, that probably means they didn't hear what you said, Ed. <laughs> No, I or prefer we, or, that you're or, just ignoring or, or me. Or we've died. Or we've died. <laughs> uh, all right. But, yeah, there are a few things there that are those red flags that, that you know, that we've heard many times before. Cool. Um, no, cool. Okay. No, right. so, sorry, I was distracted because <laughs> Craig, Craig is yeah, there's that sent sound. me a message saying, failed to join. If I persistently fail to join, it may be an issue with a voice server. Uh, anyway, we're not going to worry about Craig. Craig can fuck off. We've got other we mechanisms. And oh. no, Ennui's actually just disconnected on me. Anyway. Oh. Uh, well, my one has. Your mom might not be. Dun, dun, dun. Mine Ignore is it. no longer recording. It just said right. disconnected. That's all right. We'll soldier on. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. These, um, these just create new challenges for you when editing. Yes. Okay, I've got to I use five them. different sources now. But but you said something, and I just responded with cool because I was distracted. So what did you say, and how should I have reacted? Uh, you should react with absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Very good. All right. Yeah, I was. Uh, remember when um, when we when Cassini dove to its death? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> it was it was such an emotional thing. Don't make me cry. But I was it, it occurred to me, and I was a little bit surprised in a way that I didn't see any meme type things being created of sort of high the Huygens probe watching uh, Cassini oh. do its dive because it's there, right? It's yeah. still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still there. Just ran out of battery. Yeah, but it, you know. That, that would have been sweet. I remember, like we were talking before about yeah. Rosetta with its with its lander. Remember the little cartoons that did the mm, rounds there? Mm. They were very cute of it, oh. sleeping. I'm just having a rest. <laughs> no, I know. That just, that was ridiculous. I have, I have a very good uh, a friend who works in communications at ESA. And um, that was just, I just I had to email her and say that was just such a triumph. Yeah. Everyone, like when Philae went, yeah. and it had, like went down for its death. And it had this little... Um, backpack and its little hard hat on and its little light, you know, headlamp. Yes. And it's like, I'm going on an adventure. And you're like, yes, you are, Philly. Yes, you are. Yeah. Go for it, dude. Yeah. Very cool. It was just amazing. And I think everyone at NASA was a bit like, why don't we do that? Yeah. 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 Well, they've got the Twitter accounts. They, they do that bit. You know, free to the pros. Yeah. Are they, did you notice with, what was, oh, who was it recently? Oh, it's one of the missions recently. The one to Mercury, Beppe Colombo, mm. has it. The the mission has three Twitter accounts, oh, wow. um, and there's one of them is for the booster, and there's two other bits to the Merc to the mission, um, and they're like the science. One's going to orbit and one's going to land. Uh. But like, so the orbiter's kind of like the fillet, and he's all very excited, and the lander is like. The, the orbiter, sorry, is the more sort of sensible mum of the situation. Oh, wow. And the the booster or the thing that's going to slingshot them only communicates in emojis. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, wow. Oh, that is awesome. I've got to check that out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 you do. I think we, we should probably talk about Pepe Colombo on another episode, I think, because, um, oh, that's, that's supposed to get there, I think, in uh, 2025. I think it's supposed to get to Mercury, I think. Yeah, 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 it's got it's it's very hard to get to Mercury, yeah. but uh, I don't know yeah. what our when success there, rate there is. Well, we've or at least Messenger got there, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've never landed yeah. on Mercury. Yeah. We've crashed Messenger, but never landed. Uh, well, if we're still going in 2025, <laughs> we'll yeah. have you back on Helen to talk about that. But I'm sure we'll have you back on many, many more times to talk about other cool things. <laughs> Well, that does remind me, Lucas, you might remember better than I do. We did talk a few months ago about a story that had maybe it was a star or a planet that went through our solar system many, you know, 30,000 years ago or some long time ago. Do you remember that? Uh, vaguely. I can't remember specifics either. So, um, sorry, okay. can't get anything That's okay. that. But I do recall. I'll edit it out. No one will ever know. <laughs> it was probably something to do with the Oort cloud showing... Something had uh, perturbed things or something like that. 
you know. I think it, it might have been a star actually, and we can just look at it. It's moving away in this direction, so it probably came through our solar system mm. or something. Anyway. Yep, that rings a bell too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, yeah. yeah, I mean, when you've got, uh, for example, at the moment, I'm not supposed to type on my phone uh, because I've done the thumb joints and wrists on my hands at the moment. Um, Mm-hmm. And that's very frustrating because that means is if I have to send a text message, I have to dictate it to my phone. Mm. Uh, guess how well that goes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so great. basically I, I put yeah. in the best, it's best possible guess and then I have to go in and delete all the curse words that I've said and it gets those right every time. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it's, yeah. Really? You're not, you're not saying duck an awful no. lot because that's what happens to me. I have never, ever needed to actually use the word ducking. <laughs> But that's what I apparently Grenade! text a lot. So, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Um. So it's re- very, very interesting. But you know, one of the things that I thought was particularly worth highlighting here is that this seems to me to be a um, another version of what's been uh, described as theranostics, <laughs> which is uh, you know another one of these lovely words we've come up with. Uh, sort of what, what's it called again? Where you, where you mash a couple of words together, a, uh, like portmanteau. a portmanteau. Portmanteau. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Thera- so theranostics is is combining therapy and diagnostics, and you know the the buzzwords of of you know this this era are around personalized medicine or precision mm-hmm. medicine, and we're seeing uh, some really exciting stuff being done now where we're combining um, targeted uh, diagnostic tests with targeted therapy. So when we talk about targeted therapy, we're talking about uh, being able to identify. Um, the, the mutations or the, the molecular differences uh, with, and cellular differences within individuals that uh, result in certain drugs or treatments either working or not working. And these can be, for example, the presence of a certain mutation in a cancer um, and the drugs that are now designed. So, for example, uh, you know, in um, in melanoma, we'll talk about BRAF mutant cancers and BRAF mutant melanomas are able to be treated using certain types of drugs and not other drugs. Now, where Theranostics comes in is that we potentially can use uh, biological pathways in the body to acquire diagnostic images and then devi- um, and then deliver treatment to those patients, which is targeted based on what those diagnostic images can tell us about that patient's particular um, t- tumors and so on. Now, this, this is not entirely new. You know, if, if you look at um, the uh, example that I came across, which is very familiar to me, but I hadn't thought of it in this way, is the use of radioiodine uh, for thyroid cancer. Now, radioiodine is used used both to diagnose and to treat thyroid cancers. And this has been around since the 1940s. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's one of these areas where we're sort of, we've taken some old science and we're, we're sort of rethinking it and finding really fascinating and, and clever um, adaptations. And then there's one other area outside of oncology because, you know, most of the the applications uh, that are being uh, sort of promoted at the moment are in in the oncology space. But also there's a treatment called yttrium-90 radiocyanovectomy therapy. And this is a treatment which is used for um, painful joints such as in arthritis. And what they do is they inject this into this... um, uh, this substance, yttrium-90, this radio radioactive substance, into the joint and it allows the uh, – and the therapy is precisely targeted to that area which can reduce inflammation in the body. Now, the, the, the thing is that uh, the use of all of these therapies is both, as I say, diagnostic and therapeutic. So we would potentially be able to, uh, you know, in, um, use these scans to determine which patients are more likely to respond to these treatments and then ensure that the right patients get the right treatments. So I think that's really exciting because it's the sort of thing that on the one hand can, um, you know, one of the important things in oncology, for example, is finding the best treatments to use up front. And because we're now getting so much better at being able to identify the subtypes of different cancers, we're much more able to target cancer, uh, cancer treatments to patients at the right time so that they can get the best treatment up front rather than having to sort of work their way down through different lines of therapy until they find something that hopefully works. Mm, that's really cool. 
Lucas, hmm. we often mock NASA for some of the names that they come up with. Oh, I was thinking. I the think same the thing. medical community <laughs> could I'm learn so a lot. I'm so glad that Joe has to say these names <laughs> and not me. Oh my god! This is nothing. Some of the drugs I have to work with these days—it's literally like someone vomited up a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well done (laughs) yeah I know that there's there's quite a a lot of research being done um, in sort of how we can how we can use viruses in this way yeah now Lucas did we say Coxsackie virus enough for you in that (laughs) I I would have preferred a few more times Um, I I did I was looking forward to hearing you say it and I think there should have been a little bit more fanfare and recognition of the name of that virus during our discussion however at least you returned to my very immature amusement on the name of that virus cock sacky virus (laughs) cox cox sacky more than one cock anyway (laughs) more than one cock (laughs) oh dear dear um, dear, you, dear. Do you have headphones in? or? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. There was getting a bit of feedback from your microphone. Oh, sorry. But, nah, it's all right. It will be ironed out in the final production anyway. Don't worry about it. And so I think Connor might have been making a coffee in the oh, kitchen, okay. which is it's, immediately yeah. behind my head, <laughs> and therefore he was banging the group handle on the bang bang. And uh, to get <laughs> the coffee grounds bang. out. That's what it's called, a bang bang. Oh, okay. Um, uh, that's, that so was that's the dinosaur what that banging in, uh, probably was. No, that was Bam Bam. Anyway. Bam Bam. Yeah. The dinosaur. No, that wasn't the, the dinosaur. Baby. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I saw any Flintstones. We are um, way off topic. So Lisa Pathfinder was kind of a fact-finding mission um, to help them build Lisa. The, the other one that will be the the um, inferometer that will be that will be detecting gravitational waves, and this is another story. So moving on to the next time <laughs> slot, bang now. I have an intro and everything, but no, it's all right. We'll skip that. Oh, do you want an intro? I'll sit no, back. I'll take no, a sip. No, of my no look, you've, you've, you've <laughs> oh, stepped into it smoothly. I can't. There's no clean cut where I can just jump in and uh, move you can do an on. outro. <laughs> <laughs> an outro, yeah. Just, just, just if we're if we're editing that, Penny, did you, did you look just a little further down the page in that Guardian story <laughs> about the farmers jailed in Australia? What was that? That's the most. Oh, the farmer jailed headline. in Australia yeah, for smuggling Danish pig semen in shampoo bottles. That's weirdly specific. <laughs> Well, you're not going to have any old pig semen in your shampoo bottle. It's got to be the Danish. No. Oh, that's the best. Danish yeah. pig semen. But, but why did they say shampoo bottles? Because I'm guessing you can take them on the plane, like, you know, those little ones. Oh, oh wow. Oh. In your 30 mil carry-on allowance. <laughs> or 100 mil or whatever it is. I can definitely see that leading to a kind of something about Mary type inspired, <sighs> you know, scene. Somewhere. It's designed for that, really, isn't it? Absolutely. My stomach hurts. <laughs> it's yeah. a, it's a, it's a fairly modern one, but yeah, the idea that he would just say, "Oh shit, hang on a second, sorry, my cat's trying to walk on my keyboard." Yeah. Forget, <laughs> forget, head, <sighs> and and now I've lost the picture. So, okay, yeah. So he would say. Um, that's, no, that's very cool. And I just love it when there's a fable or a story that we've all just dismissed throughout time as being nonsense. Mm. And then there's some little discovery, yeah. or in this case, a yeah. pretty big discovery, that just yeah. goes, nah, turns out it was actually yeah. right. I believe it. Ah, fudge. Can you hear me? You can. Can you hear me now? You're okay? Yes. yes, I'm fine. I just... the. The cat knocked the microphone off the desk. <laughs> I'm gonna next time. I'm going to remember to get him out of the room before I try and do this. Yeah, ah, um, it's more interesting because this- uh, we'll be talking about all our favourite stories and yours on our final show of the year. And while you're on our funky new website, why not click the donate button and become a Patreon subscriber? And you can smirk with pride every time you listen to the show. Oh, you've helped keep Sorry, my, my uh, food just arrived, guys. Sorry it's okay. about that. No, it's all good. I 
kept soldiering on because it didn't affect me. But I started to laugh. <laughs> and then I didn't know if Penny's Sorry. laughing at me and what I was saying. It or was just the situation. The it was the Thank whole you. situation. Yes, thanks for that. Have a good one. Sorry, sorry, guys. I knew that would happen. I knew it would happen right. as soon as we started. That's a good, no, you actually said it would be 20 or 30 minutes after we started. <laughs> well, that's Not what they told then. me. So there was lies. There were lies. Yeah. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was microwave ready and they just bunged it in and it was done. So. Well, it, it was, yeah, I, I mean, like, it's really hard to order healthy room service. Like, it's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not many options. So, anyway, please continue. Well, good on you for finding a healthy option. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nicely done. Mm. Like, the amount of the internet data per day sort of thing, it's, it's crazy. So, um, uh Sorry, someone just came in. Can you hang on just one sec? So I can't eat any of this because I can't mute. So can you take that back out to the kitchen and I'll heat it up afterwards. Thank you. That, 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 that. was good time. That was good timing because Charlie Bear is currently farting. <laughs> oh. Incredibly distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. Shay just came in to offer me another piece of corn, but I hadn't been able to eat any of my food. Uh, so it was all cold. Sorry. Anyway. We're interrupting your dinner That's time. all right. No, it just happened to coincide. Don't worry about it. Anyway, okay. Charlie finished farting? Yes. <laughs> I think he's fallen asleep standing up in my lap. It's very odd. Oh, my God. Standing up. <laughs> yes, it's bizarre. <laughs> wow. Weird dog. Anyway, I digress. But what is really cool is this explanation uses only things that we know about for sure. Excuse me for one second. Dog, stop whining. You are <laughs> ruining a podcast. You have had dinner. Don't look at me with those lying eyes. We all know you've eaten. <laughs> Sit down and be quiet. Yeah, Sorry, you should. Uh, the, the, role, the role of Jez will be played by Ralph <laughs> tonight. <laughs> He's Actually, watching Luann eat, eat ah, some, some um, um, uh, tea, T-bone steaks that I cooked it last night as a treat. Right. And he feels that they should be in his mouth instead of her mouth. He, he would. So, Very selfish. Is there like a door or anything that you can close between Luann and you? Because we can hear the screen. There is not. And and yes, I know her cutlery is making a lot of noise. Is there any chance you can eat elsewhere? (laughs) Or quieter? Yeah, uh, she's got headphones as well, and she can't hear the amount of noise that her her cutlery is making. It's it's making like a screaming noise in the in the uh, in the recording. She's leaving now. Tell her I said hello and sorry. Ed says hello and sorry, um, but yes, it is. It is. Uh, but you are banished, and take your whiny dog with you. Um. Yes. <laughs> sorry, I'll call you when I'm finished, and you can come back out. But you'll be finished eating by then. You won't be making noise. Oh, she can't hear me now. Anyway, she's got her headphones on. Okay. Now, where so, the hell were uh, you? Yeah, the, 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 uh, so I was talking about Brian. Yes. Um, his team, and a moon. So let me just pick up from here. Okay. Uh, but then, of course, we've got supermassive black holes, which are the ones that tend to be or that we, we observe in the centres of, of galaxies and we think are probably the, in the middle of all galaxies. <coughs> Excuse me. That was the beer. Um, <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then um, There's this closer relationships than your traditional kind of food web would lead you to believe, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Charlie Bear does not like the wood wide web. He does not like the food web. <laughs> no, he He's thought he came. He only came because he thought the story was the wolf wide web. His- and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Do you mind? Shush. I'm putting myself on mute until he stops. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> sorry, that was. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, I'm sorry, oh, I it's lost a bit it. More... No, that's okay. So, um, um, the um, sorry, just a second. Let me just recalibrate my brain. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, um, the some of the worms, like the tapeworm, was more disgusting. Um, they were no, the, so. They were... so so, oh, Charlie Bear, <laughs> seriously, right. your timing. Where He's like, yes, rank? but dogs were quite low on that list. <laughs> uh, no. 
However, as of last Saturday night, they hit a bit of a snag. Um, they think they've hit really, really heavy. Declan, I'm doing rock. a podcast and you're being really loud. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> Sorry. That's, That's not me. <laughs> no, that was Declan, apparently. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He's just smacking everything around in the kitchen. It's like, fuck it's all right. I'm, I'm trying to wave at him. I'm really sorry. I thought I was muted. <laughs> no, so I'm, apparently not. I'm so glad because I was about to say, no, sorry, Helen, can you stop? Can you tell Andy to shut up again? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. No, Andy's been really good and he's got his bedroom and shut up. <laughs> 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 but, right. um, so, um, sorry, it's hit anyone a bit of a snag. jump in for questions here? Um, yep. So, yes, yeah, so it's hit a bit of a snag. Now, I think this is one of those things that are so complex. You could dig into it in so many different ways. So I'm just going to go with the, um, the take that, uh, that the BBC did, which was... Um, Lucas, shush. Sorry, I thought I was muted. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> the mute doesn't work. It's ticked. The fucking mute is ticked. <laughs> sorry. Okay. So, yeah. That's okay. all right. Sorry about um, that. Which is the... No, that's okay. So... So, let's move on, Lucas. Some Chinese scientists have discovered a black hole that, according to our current understanding of black hole formation, is so large it shouldn't exist. Uh, scientists are... I think I did read exactly that headline. I, I oh. think that was one of the headlines that I actually read. So, yes. Sorry, well, I, I apologise. I introduct. Inter- yeah, inter- also, because <laughs> I thought of that myself, damn it. <laughs> well, Excuse me, saying, plagiarizing on my own with you, podcast. They... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, I, I, uh, I, I apologise. Uh, and scientists are, according to the headline in the conversation, baffled. You know, if you look at, for example, countries like uh, some Asian countries where they eat a lot of insects. Sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have been, you know, visible from here at all. But mm. it begs the question, of course, what was it? Because we, we kind of have always, <laughs> you know, we've always heard. <laughs> Don't worry, my phone. Always... my phone is not supposed to be <laughs> ringing because it's on Do Not Disturb. Anyway, uh, someone might have rung you three times out of desperation. Possibly. I've had people defeat my do not disturb constantly when it goes off in, in meetings. It's like, yeah, they just don't give up. They just keep ringing. <laughs> Maybe he meant to answer that and just couldn't quite lift his hand. I'd best ring back well, now. They, they are re- repeatedly calling, so I am going to um, put it on Do you on want silent. to get that? No, bugger him. <laughs> That's not family. It's not emergency. Here. No. Anyway. No. Forget about my phone. Um, where were we on the story? <laughs> Sorry. That, that's okay. So, but a magnetar in this galaxy that's ju- that relates to this new detection is actually quite unlikely. Not impossible. It could still be a magnetar. But really unlikely is, is uh, I think, um, you know, Phil Plate basically said, um, uh, what, what was his wording? That makes a magnetar pretty unlikely. There we go. That's what he said. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, Bonobo mums actually do tend to um, be helicopter parents. Interfere in their sons, in, encourage their sons' sex lives. So, which is so they're basically behavior. Italian. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! <laughs> Apologies to all our Italian listeners. <laughs> I, I was just going to go through, like, just you know, just a very dry description of the chips before we. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, wow. This anyway. went downhill very quickly. <laughs> well But you don't need to worry about getting any horns from your mobile phone. And that's our show. It depends what you're looking at. Joe <laughs> Keep it classy, Joe. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Worth pointing out that the reason I knew about this story is because of you sharing it on Facebook for a whole other reason. Yeah, but we're not going to go into that whole other reason, <laughs> are we? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> this is definitely getting cut. <laughs> <laughs>
I shared the article that said, you know, um, British teenager goes blind because of fussy fussy eating causes a teenager go blind. And I misread that and I didn't realise it was an F and it was fussy eater. I misread it as something else and thought I was in severe danger. But um, anyway, (laughs) pussy. I'm going to spell it out. (laughs) (laughs) That was like fussy eating. (laughs) can't believe you brought that up on the podcast lucas thank you so much (laughs) well you didn't have to go into detail i was just pointing out i felt i I owed it to penny after you teased her with that (laughs) (laughs) and aren't you glad you did i am because I missed out not being on Facebook, clearly. Oh, yeah, clear. that's the sort of thing you miss out That's the, the high quality. <laughs> well, at least you won't be suddenly terrified that your habit for eating pussy is going to make you go blind. Because that's something you've got to worry about if you're on Facebook. So if oh, I could Facebook. just uh, steer us back to the show. <laughs> uh, I really need to pay attention when I'm editing this. <laughs> Because <laughs> if that goes out, my parents listen to this anyway. Hey, at least we've got some content for the uh, the, the bloopers. Yeah. 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 All right. Who have been chipping in each episode to help us pay the bills and keep the lights on? If you like what we do, like they do, just head to scienceontop.com/slash/donate. That sounded weird. If you like what we do, like they do. Anyway, <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> We'll be back again next week, putting science on top of the agenda. Join us then. That felt really short, but it wasn't. It was pretty short, but it was good. Short and sweet. (laughs) It was good, short. Awesome. Uh... And thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again next week, putting science on top of the agenda. Join us then. Awesome. I thought you'd got quiet towards the end. I thought you haven't said anything for all. <laughs> awesome. Uh, good show. That was good. Yes, that was good. <laughs> <laughs>